Up it. There you go, you got it. Northern Australia, a tourism hub. Being a vacation destination for many people, this area is full of resorts, charter diving, and other modern day conveniences. It wasn't always like this though. For around 50,000 years, the Gugu Yalangi people have called this area home. This area encompasses the Daintree Rainforest along with the Mossman Gorge. Today we're just up the road from Cairns at Kuya Beach and we are being guided on a private cultural experience with Gugu Yalangi Cultural Habitat Tours. The experience includes traditional Aboriginal spearfishing, foraging, and learning about traditional practices that are still being carried out in modern day life. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, how are you? I'm good. I'm Link. I'm Jessica. Jessica, it's how very are good you? to meet you. Welcome to Kuya Beach. Thank you. Picked a not a bad day. The sun's given us a bit of a break. We'll get out and have a play while we can. Well, this place we call Kuyu Kuyu. It means fishing in our language. So you're in Gugu Yalanji country. We have about a 400 kilometer stretch, one language group. We catch everything here and that's how we feed all the families. Everyone in here. Every second house is relation. That's Aunty Jones across the road. That's mum and dad's just there. Aunty Trudy, Aunty Ray just down a bit. Grandparents' house. All the way down. Youngest brother's down that end. I'm up this end. Brandon's up the back. Hopefully the ones at the end, there's still enough to go around. Yeah, we'll see what happens. <laughs> They'll smell the food. They'll be here by three. Uh, okay. Don't worry. Before we go for a walk today, have you had a smoking done before? No, I haven't. The reason we do a smoking up here is when you're born, your afterbirth's taken. It's tied to the tree. It marks your birth spot. And when you pass away, that's where you go back to. All the families that are born on this land, we'll ask them to look after us and bring us back alive this afternoon. So I'm just going to run a little bit of smoke over here. This is paper bark, and I'll ask those elders to, to keep an eye on us today and look after us. And the other one, the other one, the other one, the other on the front beach and have a play. Get just set up and warmed up with the spear. Okay. See how good you are. We'll test you out first before we go. You have to load the bucket up today. You've got to feed all the family here. So we expect a lot from you today. Big shoes to fill. Oh yeah. Here we go. Time to get your feet dirty. You'll notice it's a messy beach this one. All the leaf litter. That's what keeps the fish and the crabs fed here. It gets mashed up fine then mixed into the mud and then everything can feed on it. Now you've handled a spear every day before. That's your normal day? Yeah. Every day. Perfect. Usually I wake up 7 a.m. Grab that's my spear. <laughs> we'll test you out now. Come on okay. down. So first thing we'll do is I'll get you to pick yourself out a spear. What should so, I be looking for? Just have a feel. Some are heavy, some are light. We make all different That's sizes big, so like. you get used to them. Yeah, we'll try with that one first if you game. Yeah, so when you when you throw a spear up here, I'm gonna, if the fish come, the fish will sort of hear us and then they'll take off. You've got to throw at the fish here. Okay. I'll move this coconut back. That's our pretend fish. From that far away, huh? Yeah, when they hear you, they'll take off, so you're going to have to throw at them. What if I'm really quiet? Yeah, yeah, that's good. If you can sneak up on them, you get an easier shot. So when you throw your spear, it's finger on the end. Your other hand's just to balance with. One foot in front of the other. Yeah, if you look down your spear, you can line it up with the coconut. So aim a bit above the coconut. Okay. And when you're ready, get your arm stretched back. It gives you that bit more power. And all your weight on the back leg, just lift your front leg up. And then when you step, push with the finger. Easy. Okay. Warm up round. Come on down. <laughs> Warm up round. Now when you carry your spear today, just so we don't stab each other, straight up and down on your shoulder. Okay. That way we can't kill each other today. Whoever you spear, you have to eat when you get back. Now remember, fish have a scale, so don't be afraid to throw as hard as you can. Okay, let's give us some oomph. Yeah, you really got to hit the fish hard, otherwise they just take off with your spear or kick oh, the spear out. we don't want that. Yeah, that's him. So when you're ready, yeah, yeah that's him. So just step into okay. it and all the way, go for it. That's him. Ooh, close. <laughs> Not bad. That spear comfortable? Um, I'm not sure. Should you, I maybe try Yeah, try another, another couple. Yep, have a go. See if which ones are comfortable. Have a feel, have a play. Try this guy. Yeah, try the little one. And while you're here, throw all four. Yeah, okay. After a while, you'll be able to rock that weight just all the yeah, way through. Okay, I got you. Ooh! <laughs> well done. That one felt good too. Yeah, the, the fish towel. are in trouble today, so. Now that you're warmed up, no excuses. No excuses. <laughs> what the guys will do, they'll take you down, they'll show you out in the flat. See the puddles of water that are forming? Whatever's stuck in these puddles can't get away for six hours. Oh. Lazy country. So you get out, go through the puddles, see what you can find. This is Brandon. Brandon, the other brother, he'll take you. This is Lamar and that's Emrys, my boy. They'll take you out okay. and you've got to feed everyone else. That's why you've got the big bucket. Bring us back a feed. All right. <laughs> Good luck. So how many hours do you get out here? We'll usually go for about an hour and a half, two hours, depending on uh, if you've got uh, any leg problems. You've got like, young little kids that can't walk too far. Make it suit you. Yeah. And anything you catch, we'll cook for you. Once you get into it, it's good fun. It's all at the back of the bay here. This is your Gigi Yurumbul. It's your mud crab story. You hunt close to your full moon, new moon. Good moon at the moment, so you should get no excuses. There should be plenty of crab around for you. Perfect. Good time to be out. Get yourself a free mud spa today. Always like an opportunity to go barefoot. Yeah, now your feet will feel wonderful by the time we come back. Tide runs right out, all this reef is going to come out now. 
I mean, you've got another hour until the low tide. Your crabs will never walk out. If they get too lazy, they'll dig into holes. There's okay. stingray holes and stuff all around the place. When your crab sees you, it'll duck down. You'll see it. Put his head back in the water. So what are we hoping to find? Stingrays, garfish, whiting, all kinds of stuff here. Easiest thing is crab. I like mullet, blue tail mullet, diamond scale mullet. They'll all school around the back of the reef. Tide turns, they'll come back in. Oh, little starfish over there, these little common stars. Yeah. They're feeding off the back of the reef here. If you'll find thousands of them. Oh. That's a little one there. I get it? Nah, no. we'll look for a bigger one. Up it. <laughs> I'll just stare like this. Right into the ground, there you go. Nearly. There you go, you got it. So yeah, that's a little female sand crab. So that's the easiest way to do it, just to uh, stand up, use your elbow and spear through. Okay. Let's start to the snack. There's another one there coming through there on the bottom there. Okay. That sounded like it. Brandon grew up fishing these waters. I've been to a five, six year old. Mum's side of the family was commercial fishermen. All the dad's side of the family always teaching us how to hunt and fish and follow the season and stuff. Let's have a look in here. The boys have filled up the buckets for you. Uh, Jeff's got a couple of little fellas. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so these are all mud crab. Let that fella go. So there's our little snack for the day. We'll go back along the front of the mango, we'll pick a couple of periwinkles and stuff to go with it. Cook you guys a little snack. These are periwinkles. See this down here, a little dark round shell right here on this branch. Uh -huh. You take them off, see bright yellow. Yep, that's good to keep them. Drop them in a bucket with the rest of the, all of your crabs you get today. Asked Brandon why it was so important to pass on traditional ways. Making sure our family and friends are all uh, fit and healthy. A lot of Aboriginal people you know, grow up and uh, change their diet from all of this sort of stuff and start eating KFC and all that sort of rubbish and it's killing us really young. You know, a lot of people around the community, they all come to me to meet the fish and stuff and trying to get uh, through to the next generation that's uh, eating healthily is how you, what you've got to do. This one here is a beef lettuce or a cardboard cabbage. Looks like a lettuce leaf on it. What you want is the big white seeds underneath here. So the bigger they are, the whiter they are, the more the more juice you'll get into. This is the best eye drop you can get. If you get conjunctivitis, the styes in your eye, put this in before you go to bed, it'll be gone in the morning. These here aren't like uh, anything you get from a chemist or a doctor, they don't stink. So they just clear your eyes in about 10 to 15 seconds, make your eyes feel good. I'll find you a good one. Flower up, fingers all around it, slowly squeeze and turn. When we got back, Emerson Lamar cooked us up what we caught. Brandon showed us his collection of memories from past hunts. He explained what the items were and what traditional occasions specific animals were harvested for. Here are crabs all done. And uh, a couple of periwinkles and stuff. So you just, the yeah, you just lift them up, drop them in your mouth, just piece out, eat that and drink the juice out of the shell. I can't recommend highly enough what a genuine and awesome experience this was. If you're interested in booking a private cultural experience, visit the link in the description below and get in touch with Ku Yalanji Cultural Habitat Tours today. Thank you so much. Very, very welcome, It was amazing. Thank you. Now I can go teach people how to spearfish. That's it. Use your elbow. Use your elbow.